Hey, today we're going to be learning how to make a gun. Alright, we're going to make this gun shoot at full auto today. So, we're going to first add an empty. And this is what our bullet will be firing from, is from the empty. And also, make sure that it's easier to do it when the gun's facing on the x-axis. So, it'll really help if you do that. It'll make it a lot easier, and it'll make it more fun. You don't have to sit here and complain. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to have the empty, and then you're going to select your camera. And you want to parent them together, because if you parent it to your gun, and you do the recoil animation, then it won't, it will, it will make the bullets go everywhere. So we'll go back to front view. Yeah, this is what it should look like if you hit one. So you'll know if you're having it on the x axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that about right there and add a UV sphere and scale that down a lot. So we'll move that right in front of your gun. For example, mine is this mini Uzi I modeled a few weeks back. Alright. Hit M and move that bullet to layer 2. Because if you don't, it'll just fall right out of the gun. It would really help if you do that. So, select the empty and add all of these. And then you're going to attach all of them. And then you're going to hit keyboard or mouse or choose whatever you want. And I'm going to set it to hold space at the same time. Uh, next, what you're going to do is in motion and hit edit object. Now you need to know the name of that sphere and it's very simple. It is called course sphere. So we're going to go back and get to that. You're going to hit, and you're going to hit here, and then you're going to go to layer two and select the sphere, and go over here and change it as a dynamic, and change the radius down a little bit. Now as you have it as the dynamic, add it, and add it, and add it. And then you're going to do that. So, okay, so it, um, under Lin V, hit L, and since your bullet is going to be fired on the X axis, you change this to about 30. Just try that, and then make sure that's parented to the camera. And now we are going to make it shoot at full auto. But first, just to show you what it looks like, let me save this right quick. If you have a bad graphics card like I do, it's always best to save at certain areas. Alright. So, if we hit P, you should see it shoots out pretty nicely. But, we, uh, but you don't want to keep hitting. That's for semi-automatic. And we want it to be fully automatic. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the logic. And you see this button that has activate true level triggering. Hit that and then change this to about 5. Hold on, let me show you what it looks like now. See how it does like a stream right like that? You want that to be changed. So if you see how it's parented to the camera, you see how it doesn't go everywhere. But otherwise, you're going to change this to delay, and we'll set it to 5 just to see if it works. And there you go. 
You can try to, you can probably set it up a little bit higher if you want. So we're going to change it back down to 7 and we'll try it. Okay, you know what? This is a fully automatic ooze, a mini ooze that you does shoot rapid fire. So I think, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's how you shoot a gun. A full auto. Make sure in order to make it keep shooting, make sure whatever you have, like if you have the keyboard, make sure you have it hit to hold down there. You'll see over here that says hold. And you make sure that says space. Or otherwise, if you don't, here's what will happen. Uh, I don't really make a difference. Well, I bet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like that. So, yes. Uh, I think next tutorial I will teach you how to do the kickback in the game engine. So you can have a fluid looking gun animation so yeah thanks for watching rate subscribe and add me as a friend if you feel like it but thanks for watching